The main building of the NEO, the Netherlands Institute of Ecology, forms the center of an extended complex. The NEO is the largest research institute of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Here in the city of Wageningen, or anywhere in the world, 200 employees, guest researchers and students from 25 countries study all aspects of nature. The NEO research literally stretches from the DNA of bacteria to the biodiversity of entire ecosystems and everything in between. How does it work? What can we learn from it? Can we maintain biodiversity and use it at the same time? Nature is a source of inspiration, not just for all kinds of innovative applications, but also for society at large. Ecological knowledge to render our economy more sustainable and to keep our planet a habitable place. Neo researchers investigate how biodiversity above and below ground is linked through plants and why some species multiply in excess, like invasive plants and pest insects. They also look at the large and mostly uncharted wealth of fungi and bacteria in the soil. Is this where we will find our new and anxiously awaited antibiotics? Freshwater experts are searching for a solution to the problems caused by toxic blue-green algae. Neoscientists also study the effects of climate change. Research on the Great Tit, for instance, shows the impact it has on nature. Now that spring is becoming increasingly warmer, the tits miss out on the caterpillar peak more often, with far-reaching effects on the population. The headquarters of the NEO are as unique as the scientific research conducted there. It is inspired by the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principle. There is no such thing as waste. Het cradle to cradle principe is gebaseerd op drie dingen. Het eerste is afval is voedsel, dus met andere woorden die hele kringloop. Het tweede is het gebruik van zonne-energie op welke manier dan ook. Als de belangrijkste energiebron die in de natuur ook is. En het derde is de diversiteit. Diversiteit niet alleen aan mensen, mogelijkheden en functies, maar biodiversiteit van je hele terrein. Waarom vernietig je dat met een nieuw gebouw? Zorg dat je het juist stimuleert. Klaus and Kahn architects were asked to design a smart building, full of daylight, and most of all, sustainable. This is demonstrated by the materials used by the builders, construction company Berghege. Honest materials that can be reused like glass, wood and steel. The body is made from durable concrete, without synthetic additives. The floor does not contain any epoxy resin. Instead, it was polished for optimal heat and cold emission. The wood used for this building is so-called plateau wood. No chemical impregnating agents were used. Pressure and temperature suffice to upgrade this wood, turning local fast-growing FSC wood almost as hard as tropical hardwood that can be used again. That's the way Cradle to Cradle is implemented here. The roof is full of plants to stimulate biodiversity. This roof filters water and air. It helps to insulate the building. But it also serves as a water storage, a refuge for threatened plant and animal species, and as an outdoor lab. Sensors enable researchers to compare the various types of experimental roof vegetation. Here they research how the generation of electricity by plants, with the help from bacteria, may contribute to energy production. 
The ambition to promote biodiversity is also reflected in the construction of green banks, hedges, a bat cave and a bee hotel. We willen in dit complex proberen om de biodiversiteit die we eigenlijk verwoest hebben door het gebouw te zetten, om die terug te krijgen rond het gebouw en op het gebouw en zelfs om er iets mooiers van te maken dan wat er was. This building is alive and it will never be finished. An experimental site where we can test new ideas and share the results with others. The NEO collaborates with commercial partners, the government and other knowledge institutions to spread the cradle to cradle concept. Alles wat wij hier leren, dat komt weer beschikbaar voor de maatschappij. Of dat het nou is in een wetenschappelijk tijdschrift of in een tijdschrift voor een bredere doelgroep. We proberen die kennis altijd uit te dragen. Cradle to Cradle says that there is no such thing as waste. This also applies to the water cycle. The ambition is to treat the wastewater in such a way that it is pure enough to discharge it locally without using a sewer. In theory, the water cycle of the toilets has already been closed. The rinse water in toilets can actually be used to regain valuable nutrients from human urine and feces, like phosphate. The vacuum toilets are rinsed with a tiny amount of groundwater, saving 90% of the total volume. Some more steps are needed to close the cycle. First, it all goes to a digester, and this produces biogas, as well as a substance containing phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium. The algae in the algae bioreactor will eat this substance and purify the water. The algae can be harvested to manufacture fertilizers and other products. The nutrient cycle has been closed. After the helophyte filter, a basin containing, for instance, reed, and reed mace, we get water of groundwater quality. This may then be used to rinse the toilets, or it can flow back to nature. Now the water cycle is closed as well. The sun plays a major part in cradle to cradle. That's why the roofs of the Neo complex have thermal solar panels producing water of about 45 degrees. This water is stored 300 meters below the surface. We do that omdat we eigenlijk zoveel mogelijk energie neutraal willen werken door de warmte van de zon op te slaan in de bodem en die in de winter direct te gebruiken voor de vloerverwarming hebben we een heel hoog rendement. En tegelijkertijd vangen we in de winter de kou van buiten op en die slaan we ook op in de bodem. En die gebruiken we dan in de zomer om het gebouw lekker koel te houden. En zo heb je eigenlijk een hele constante temperatuur. Apart from the heat produced by the solar panels, all excess heat from the buildings and greenhouses is reused. Combined, they produce almost free heating. Together with a number of commercial partners, the NEO investigates how we can produce energy in the most sustainable and cost-effective way. The entire NEO complex is not just an experimental site for sustainability and ecological research. It is also a safe haven for threatened animal and plant species. That is why the main building will never be finished. It is a living, evolving part of the research at the NEO. Trying to understand how nature really works in a sustainable, biodiverse world. Ik ben zeker als ecoloog trots. Het is fijn om uit het raam te kijken naar deze prachtige omgeving die we zo biodivers mogelijk hebben gemaakt en om te zien dat die combinatie tussen ecologie en economie eigenlijk heel goed haalbaar is en niet tegenstrijdig hoeft te zijn.